Uh, I was first diagnosed in October 1982 when it was known as HTLV3. Oh, my first reaction was uh, I was kind of sort of, I was in shock um, and I essentially sort of became suicidal. Uh, I didn't want to sort of meet with people and I was quite sure that people didn't want to meet with me. Um, and I just felt incredibly isolated. You know, I'm happy to talk about it because I think that the more people that, that, that know, that hear, you know, the, the more that one can, you know, get rid of this, this, this terrible stigma. And, and really the, the stigma is, is the real, you know, problem. It's, uh, it's the kind of sort of bogey person that is there. Why? I don't, I don't understand. I, I understand that there is, was a huge amount of fear. Um, and of course there are, there are problems, but it's, it's like treating people who are HIV as, as the modern day lepers. Uh, I, I don't understand it, but I just think that, that the more that, that people can be exposed to and, and get to hear, you know, people's stories and learn the, the, the true fact of it, then maybe sort of that, that stigma will sort of, uh, will be removed.